Well, away you go. And uh, they've been asked for 14.10 pace, which would put them uh, outside the world record, but that is a very, very lively pace indeed. The first couple of laps, around 69 seconds, and then uh, upping the tempo to 68, and then hopefully finishing a little bit quicker than that, aiming to go through the first kilometre in, uh, in 2.52. And we have three pacemakers, uh, Sara Lati, Tijis, Ketema, and then, as we mentioned there, Beatrice uh, Chepkovic. Lati just taking uh, control of things. And, uh, well, it'd be interesting, Steve, to see how this goes. I guess you could argue, really, no pressure on the likes of Faith Kip Yegon or, uh, or Laura Muir. Not their distance, they haven't run it for many years. And in, in the case of, of Faith Kip Yegon, she, she, she did all she needed to do last Friday. She could just relax, surely. Yeah, I mean, I'll briefly talk to Laura first. I mean, Laura has, has actually run quicker indoors um, than that time in 2017, so um, she's an unusual... Uh, but outdoors, you're right, she hasn't done this for a long time. And talking to her today, I just think she's made a little mistake there because she said, I'm just going to get on the back of the train. Well, that gap appeared, she went to the back, and the big gap suddenly appeared. So Laura's just going to have to not panic. She's trying to work herself back to that main group there, who, who have started very quickly, as you said. Faith Kip Yogan was always going to slot in behind Gidai. And I think the intrigue here really is, can Gidai run away from Kip Yegon? You know, how good is Kip Yegon at 5,000 metres? Has Gidai got the confidence and the strength to, to get away from her? She can't finish quickly, but you would expect it isn't going to be anywhere near as quick as Kip Yegon over the last lap. So they need a big last 800 we knew that those lights are set for 14 10 the world record 14 6 Gidai looks round. that might have been a big effort and the only person who's now going to get close to the record is Faith Kip Yegon she looks fresh and it will be all about what can she produce on the last lap so don't forget this light set at an even pace if she can roll run low 60s but I think they're both tired now look Kip Yegon went to the front and hasn't done anything Maybe she's just trying to slow Gidai down. The lights are just starting to move on. And I know we keep talking about them, but that's what they will be thinking. And for the first time, they both look tired. And the world record starts to look a massive task. Yeah, Kip Yeager made a move. It wasn't decisive. Gidai responded, and the lights have got ahead. Can they keep them within their sights? They're going to come in front of us for the penultimate time. Less than 500 to go. Gidai moves wide. Kip Yegon with the familiar arm carriage, really economical style, just a little imperceptible reaction. Here's the bell, just outside 13. They need to go sub 60 to get inside the world record. Remember, 14.06.62. The race had been set at 14.10. What have these athletes got left in the last 300 metres? It isn't going to be a world record, but Faith Kip Yegon will become the second fastest, perhaps. It's going to be very, very close. Gidai is not giving this up. I love the competition between the two of them there. She can sprint, you know. Yes, she can. And both of them are sprinting. The taller athlete, Gidai, is maybe winding up to make her move. But Kip Yegon, you know, likes to hook the inside lane. She does not give up her position lightly, as we've seen over the 1,500 metres, time and time again. Now there's an injection of pace again. Round the crown of the bend for the last time. The crowd roar. Everybody standing up around us. Faith Kip Yegon yet again finds another gear. Florence last weekend over 1,500 metres. Here in Paris over 5,000. What a talent. What a performance. It's a world record. Oh, my goodness. She's done it again. Unbelievable. Superhuman. Faith Kip Yegon. You cannot be serious. Words fail you. Women's mile. The pace lights will tell us how they're going. They're looking for a pretty swift 2-4 or there, thereabouts through 800 metres. But just uh, for the those who are maybe not so familiar with one mile, it's four laps and nine metres. So we will be getting times at every 400 metres, but there's an extra nine metres to factor in. So it's said two races, it's already split up, really. 
given that the pacemakers have gone off hard, too hard, because Faith Kipiega is right with the lights there. The green lights are the lights that she's keeping an eye on. Hayelu has slotted in behind her. Laura Muir leading the pack behind. And there's a lot of familiar faces for Laura Muir, who's had her own ups and downs this season. McGeehan just tucked in behind her. So is Jess Hull of Australia. You can see Melissa Courtney Bryant, big new 1500 personal best for her last week Nikki Hiltz the American just on the curve as well but out in front the two pacemakers Nat Yonder will have the job of trying to keep it going as far as she can beyond 800 meters but it's now settled down with only Hayelu going with Kibiego well just under 62 for the first 400 which gives us around 203 204 for the 800 that you mentioned and just by way of comparison when Sifan Hassan we saw Sifan Hassan do this three four years ago but she did most of the damage in the last 500 but now she's way ahead of the light and it's only the light that she has for company here and surely she'll be able to produce a big last lap it's Faith Kepiegon coming towards the bell she was looking to head to the bell in a roundabout well, look at that, it's 3.6, I was going to say 3.7, she's inside it. She is inside it, she's got around 66 seconds for this final lap, well within her compass, she's stretching away and pouring it on, and, then, and the race behind is very much for second place. Fed Kip Yegon on her way to net another world record. Yeah, just to say that 66 is for a lap at nine metres, as I mentioned earlier on. So she has to work hard still, but it's well within her grasp here. Faith Kipiegon with just 200 metres left. And now she knows that if she could muster a 32-33, she's going to take at least a second off this world record. She's got to stay strong here, approaching the 1500 metre mark. We said 354-55, she's way inside that. She's not far off the world record through 1500 metres. Here she goes, Faith Kipiego, crowd on the feet here in Monaco. We've seen this twice already this year. Faith Kipiego heading for another world record. This time it's going to be in the mile. She's going to absolutely obliterate it. Four seven point six five. Can you believe it? Whoa! The others finished a mile behind. Faith Kipiego. Kira McGeehan smashing her national record, beating the rest, I think, in a big chase to the line. But if the 349 was good, if the 1405 was good, this is almost on another level. 47? There are hundreds of thousands of male milers around the world for whom that still would be a creditable time. You look a little nervous and you would be when you know what's coming next. I mean, we saw what Tess Fine did and she goes out so hard. I think Kim Yeager wants to go in a not quite as hard as that and then try and finish a bit stronger or finish a lot stronger. She says she's heading for 351. Well, if you're heading for 351, you're very close to world record pace. And I know, I know that it's something she really wants. She's got the Olympic world titles. She'll no doubt win more, but can she yet get the world record? Women's 1500 gets underway. Fast pace in store. It's going to be tough to keep up with the lights for the vast majority of them. So Feldmeyer and Hurt Klecker are going to try and do the best they can. Laura Muir slots in straight behind Faith Kipiego, as Laura Muir would always like to do. So looking for the lights, looking for the other athletes, the pacemakers just settling down after that quick first couple of meters. Well, this um, quick pace that's been asked for is intimidating for so many of these athletes. We've talked to Abby Caldwell earlier, the Australian. Chances were at lunch, the Commonwealth Games bronze medalist. I said, they're going out in 62s. What do you think? She said, good luck to them. She said, I should be delighted if I can hang on to the back end of the field. Anywhere near that tempo. And it is aggressive, Steve. Look at the first seven or eight. Single file through 300 and about 47. Given that this is Laura's first big race back then, she's doing really well. And Jess Hull is doing well. Jess Hull and Laura Muir must be almost 50 metres ahead of the rest of the field. They've just checked back. They've checked out. But Kim Yegon, with 500 to go, is trying to hang on to the lights. That's all she has to drag around this last lap. Can she dig deep? Can she find something a little bit extra? It's going to be very, very quick, that's for sure. But how quick she hits the bell. 250, she'd have to 
run at sub-60 to run a world record. The Laurie Mill struggling now. She's about 15 metres down and the grab is growing. Kip Yegon driving hard with 300 to run. It's her against the clock, Stephen. It would have been better if she'd had a race, somebody to race against. She's such a wonderful racer. At 61.28, that's an aggressive third lap. 350.07 is the time she needs. There's a big screen at the top of the back straight, and she's looking up at it, and she's on schedule here. She needs to run around 30 for the last 200. She's ahead of the lights. She's ahead of the schedule. Faith Kipyegon, the Olympic champion, the world champion. She's done both of those things twice before, but she's never broken the world record. It's an incredible world record. She's looking a little bit tired now, but she's left the lights behind, and she needs to. Faith Kipyegon, charging to the line. was perhaps the world's greatest 1500 meter runner of all time. Forget the perhaps now. She is 100% the best ever. A world record here in Florence for the greatest 1500 meter runner of all time. Sensational. And she did it smartly. 2-4, that's the way to do it. Keep it steady. Trust yourself on the last lap. Back yourself to produce the big last three, 400 metres. Valentine from a management and training group. Don't forget, Captain Bet, where she trains, she's there with Ellie Kipchoge and all of that big crowd, and she says that's what's made her so much stronger. She's been with Patrick Sang for the last three or four years, I think it is. But that is a cracking run.